Well, good morning, everybody. It is uh, Sunday morning, the 21st. And you're looking at uh, a big part of the work this last week, uh, Beth's new uh, garden in our front yard here. You can see uh, some of the tomato plants here, but uh, that she netted in here, so it's all fenced in so the chickens don't get in. But uh, yeah, her new garden. So I'm going to kind of take you walk around a little bit and take a look at the tricycle here and yes oh, we're still hauling water for the pigs uh, it's got to be close to six months already we've been uh, <laughs> hauling water it's become uh, kind of a daily thing keeping our water supply up I guess we're so used to it by now that we uh, really, really don't think about it anymore. But knowing that uh, right now, you know, every couple of days uh, we got to go get water. And Lando's been using the tricycle in order to be able to do that. And of course, uh, except for uh, basically five piglets. Uh, we sold all the piglets and that we still got uh, five left. I wish we could get rid of uh, a few more. They're getting awful big <laughs> and growing. And Beth is down there kind of setting everything up for him and that. And uh, yeah, that's just uh, like I said, it didn't turn out uh, as we expected this year. But uh, at least we got rid of most of them. And of course, Lando's been working uh, with us every single day here and cut a bunch of rice hay again. So we've got about 25 sacks or so there. So our uh, humongous <laughs> rice hay pile here, uh, we got about one more cutting left, if that, basically. Uh, <laughs> and we managed to uh, finish getting uh, all the rice fields down below into rows and turned the soil turned and we added compost to all the rows and turned the soil again and mixed it and that uh, but uh, really uh, no rain this last week and a matter of fact, I just checked today since uh, it's been over two weeks now since our last, what I, I would call even a measurable rain. We've had a few sprinkles at night there for a few days, but uh, nothing that really amounted to nothing. Like I said, that type of moisture uh, keeps the jungle going. But besides that... Uh, <laughs> It really doesn't help anything and nothing you can count on to uh, grow veggies with. I mean, the heat is so intense the last few days and uh, I'm really glad I didn't start planting anything because uh, the heat was just so overwhelming. Now it's kind of overcast here today. So a little bit cooler out. Like I said, the uh, temperature automatically just goes up 10, 15 degrees or more uh, when that sun pops out, and especially if you're out in the sun, if you can stay in the shade. And the pond is doing nothing but going down. We're at a, just a little over four feet now from uh, 65 inches. Uh, boy, and... Uh, Reminds me so much of last December when it overflowed once and uh, that was it. It was that overflow for two, three days and uh, that was it. <laughs> and usually during the rainy season it's that overflow for two, three months. But uh, that's kind of been the story here uh, of what we've had to go through this last year uh, with uh, 
with the drought and I was hoping that the rain in June would continue but uh, kind of a reminder of last year when it rained a lot in June everybody got ready to plant and poof just like that we didn't get rain till November uh, a lot of people up here pretty well got stuck this year not as much rain in June so and I think everybody was just scared and skittish of what to do here so uh, the only place they're starting to plant is where they can irrigate and of course I showed you down here and kind of cleaning up the mess here and that and uh, Lando cut this yesterday and this is like I said a big uh, a <laughs> big mess but at least we cut it and I came in yesterday afternoon and uh, kind of piled a lot of the brush up there and I did some digging down below I wanted to see how hard it was to get all these weeds up and uh, that will be probably our project this next week uh, I came down this morning and it took me about an hour and a half to clean the weeds, oh, probably about half of uh, the first uh, small rice fields here. And as you can see by the huge piles here, the amount of weeds, because you got to really get the roots out. No use uh, just cutting them with the roots in. In a tropical climate, they'll grow back within uh, within a matter of a few days, and that especially with the humidity. So we've got a lot of work here cut out and even if uh, we decide not to plant again uh, I would never leave uh, because we rent these from our neighbor there I would never leave them in such sad condition uh, and of course one of our little puppies come on let's go come on yeah he sees the cow over there so he's all excited so I did that like I said it took me about an hour and a half early this morning uh, before the sun kind of came up high enough to get down here and that uh, to do just that little bit about half of that row so I've got an idea that uh, it's going to take quite a bit to clean this up but we'll, we'll be at it this week and uh, continue to clean up the mess here but that was kind of uh, our week last week of uh, getting everything basically prepared so when and if uh, we get back into some rain again uh, we're pretty well set for planting especially in the garden rows and in the rice fields which I'm going to use for gardens here I'd uh, love nothing better than to be able to start planting but uh, until we get some consistency in the rain here and it just uh, may be another year like uh, last year boy I hope not uh, that wound up being such a disaster like I said we've gotten used to carrying water so it's kind of no big deal right now uh, it's just part of uh, our every week and of course all the drinking and cooking water we uh, get that in town and buy that separate so uh, we've always got uh, four or five six uh, five gallon containers on hand there so uh, we've got plenty and uh, now taking the tricycle into town we're kind of able to uh, do that also and do some shopping and of course Beth spent uh, two days this last week as a house in San Francisco attempting to clean everything up uh, Dora and I had done that a few months back before we took a lot of the videos and uh, got a lot of good responses <laughs> but that all faded into the woodwork after that I just basically left the place go and uh, let the weeds grow back 
and of course uh, it didn't look too good but it really didn't change uh, the value of what we got there and what we got into it so Beth decided it's time to clean it up again and they've been doing that and they've got a, probably a day or two left in order to finish it. So it's been that kind of week. Another busy week at the farm here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to kind of let everybody go here. Walking back up here, I kind of got a little out of breath. It's hot again today and humid. Even though uh, the sun isn't up, it hasn't been, and the sky is a little bit cloudy now. So, from the back of the camera here, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Everybody have a good Sunday, wherever you are, and I sincerely hope that God blesses every single one of you.